What is going on YouTube? We are back with a massive collaboration today. We have got, how many times have you been on the channel? You've been on about a thousand a, times. Ball, yeah, yeah, yeah. David's, David's on his hat trick appearance and introducing Mr. Charlie Brisbane. Uh, all three of us are WMBF pros. All three of us have won pretty big shows. Um, these two, amateur world champions, and obviously I've won a pro world title just to slip that in in the first minute. Uh, we are at Ultra Flex Derby and we are training push. Sam's gonna do an amazing edit. We're gonna have a look at both of them because I think David's like three, four weeks out. Charlie's seven, eight weeks out, maybe a little bit earlier, who knows? Uh, and yeah, sit back, relax, enjoy today's video. Let's go. Right, movement one. Nautilus Nitro Peck Fly. It's a little bit of a decline Peck Fly, but hey, well, it's quite busy in here, so uh, we'll get on whatever we can get on. Right, first press we are going to go for a hoist press. Quite a fan, not going to lie, I like. I like how you move as you press. Uh, there's no machines like it. And obviously, because it's in Ultra Flex, it is the best in the world. You don't want a spark plug. Come on, David. I don't know about you, but I thought, I, I think you may have bottled it then. I'm saying this now at the start of the session, Charlie trains in his garage. This is, this is very uh, new territory for me. Yeah. Whole new stimulus. Yeah. Resistance profiles aren't something that Charlie's used to. Uh, it's a posh garage, but nonetheless, it is a, a room that is in his house. That is a garage. David, how many, how many did you get on here? Eight. Eight. Fifteen. <laughs> Do you know when you play golf and you've got like a handicap? My handicap is like, I'm a lot heavier than these boys. So uh, David just said, I've either got to do an extra plate or if I do the same weight, then I've got to do double the amount of reps. Yeah, if not, I'm a pussy. Cheers, mate. Come on. They're there, they're there. Mm. Come on, I'm with you now. Mm. One more. What do you think your biggest strength is of your own physique? Probably balance. Top half, anyway. I, I, I think I've got a pro level torso and amateur legs. That's personally. Perfect. Yeah. yeah, perfect for men's physique. I, uh, what would you say? I was going to say balance across everything. I, I wanted you to be like, oh, I think it's my chest, it's my delts. It's the balance of everything. You've got nothing that stands out as like, that's fucking phenomenal, but that's good. You don't want something to be phenomenal and then something else to be bang average. But that's where I feel at pro level. Like, they know everyone's gonna be good. They're almost judging it more on, well, who actually doesn't have any weaknesses. And if you don't have any weaknesses and yeah. you're conditioned enough, well, it's very hard to be beaten. Yeah. Last year, like with Seattle, I, I almost, looking back at the footage, I almost like rejudged myself. And there were so many times that I put myself in second for something or even third, but it's the overall balance of everything in men's physique. Like, there were so many people that had like such insane abs and then no chest, or such a mad chest and then no bite. So many weaknesses because of how strong the strengths were. So, if you're thinking like, oh, I've got this amazing body part, this is gonna take me to another level. Yeah, it probably will, but it won't take you to the top tier. You'll still remain a second tier athlete. Yeah. I need the toilet. Fine. Yeah. 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 Another one. Power up. Come on. Three. Three. There you go. 
tell the people of YouTube who you are, your competitive history, and what's the fucking dream? So, I'm Charlie. I've competed for the last 10 years. This year is my 10th. 2014, 2015, 2016, 2018. Thought I was done then, but then came back in 2022. And I'm back in 2024. So, danced around with a bit of bodybuilding. Men's physique, obviously, is where I've kind of made my home. Got my pro card back in 22 at the Worlds out in LA. And then the dream this year is to go to the Worlds as a pro and win that. That's the plan anyway. That is the plan. That is the plan. Uh, how old are you? 32 as of today. 33 in October. So, right. prime. And you won your pro card at 31 then? 31, yeah, yeah. Wowza. So, you know, again, for the people that are watching, these things don't happen overnight. They don't happen to the majority of us in our teens or early 20s. It takes years and years and years of practice and attempts and growing to actually get to, you know, the top of any kind of game, natty or not. Um, Charlie is part of the Just Coaching team. Charlie's my first WNBF pro to be part of the team. And I feel particularly honored to be part of Charlie's team, uh, you know, preparing him for his pro debut and beyond, so like the world um, in November. What's the plan show-wise? So, definitely starting at the WNBF Supernaturals over in Birmingham. That'll be the first pro show that I've done. And then definitely Germany, start of November. And then the Worlds will be a few weeks after that out in Boston. So they're the three definites. There's room to maybe squeeze another one in, depending on how we're looking and how we're feeling. Um, but three's a nice sweet spot. Yeah. It's enough to kind of learn from those first couple of shows. And then obviously the Worlds is where I want to, I mean, I want to win them all ultimately, but the Worlds is the, the big daddy, the kind of it's the, the top of the mountain. Yeah, it's the uh, the North Star in it that we're aiming for. Yeah, but absolutely. Yeah. Um, is this going to be the last year of competing? I mean, I'm at that sweet spot of like, I'm old enough, I've got good muscle maturity, but I'm also on the brink of being a bit masters physique. I think in WNBF, is it, is it 40 or 35? Yeah, four. <laughs> 35 or 40, anyway. Um, so, and in my experience, if I've given myself time off in between years of competing, that's when I've made best progress. So it would at least make sense to take some time off after, after this year and then see where we're at. Never say never, yeah. but at the same time, in men's physique, in an open class, you don't want to look like the oldest guy on stage. Yeah. So Definitely. I feel like I'm, I'm right, right now. And that's why this year needs to be maximized. Beyond that, who knows? Why are we teaming up, I suppose? Josh has gone and won the pro WMBF Worlds. Who are you going to learn from that's better? And ultimately, Josh, I was looking at a few different coaching options before going with Josh, but I wanted the person that was going to be, not just know what they're talking about, but be ultimately very, very passionate about the, the, whole, the whole thing. And, and again, Josh is that sweet spot. So I, I've never been as adherent as what I have been the last kind of month or so working with Josh. Oh, and yes. I, I think it shows in my physique already being as far out as we are from the shows, but feeling as fresh as I've felt. I might not look it, but <laughs> I feel good. And that, a lot of that's down to Josh. You look, you look pretty good. You're feeling pretty good. Generally leads to a good outcome. Yeah, I'm right. up. that I like to do on here now is strapping up. Uh, I find like when you start lifting heavier weights on a lateral raise machine, your bicep can like be activated a lot. So if you can strap up real tight so that you don't need to use your grip much, you're able to isolate your delts a little bit more. And I'm saying this, not having straps on, but watch the next set, we'll have straps on. So, Mr. David Langsdale, tell the people Yep. What is your plans for this year? So, 
I'm going to be doing six WMBF Pro shows with four in four weeks in four different countries. So one thing that I really like to do is just continue to challenge myself in new ways. Yeah. So when I look at doing something, I've competed for a long time, achieved probably more than I ever set out to. So now I'm at a point where I need something to excite me and for it to excite me, it needs to be a crazy challenge. So that's what I'm getting by doing four countries in four weeks, first of all. So I've got the Dubai Pro, I've got the France Pro Show, I've got the UK Pro Show, and then the Germany, uh, sorry, Spain. Spain Pro Show. Then I'll have a three week gap before Germany, and then three weeks after that is the world in America, Boston. What David has just described there is my definition of insanity, but as like an outsider looking in, it's very, very interesting. Well, it's going to be very, very interesting to see how David does. And almost like it'd be great for me to learn from David's mistakes, if there are any, yeah. and then also to be able to learn from you if things go well or better yeah. than you expected. Um, for context as well, if, if, you, if you think, oh, that's fine, you know, four shows, four weeks, footballers play, what, six games over a three-week <laughs> basis. What David's just described truly is tough. Um, David's document is documenting the entire journey over on his channel. So if you want to see a man push himself physically, mentally, and emotionally beyond his limits, head over to David's channel, because it's going to be worth a watch. And that's one thing I would say. I'd say for anyone that's new to competing, don't, don't be doing this. Yeah. I think it's something through knowledge, a lot of experience. This is actually my 10th year competing, which people don't realize. So it's been a, a long journey. And like I say, I'm able to put all of that experience, learning how to handle my emotions into this. I wouldn't jump in and do it straight away. Yeah. But it's going to be very interesting to me. And like I say, after all this time competing, I want fresh challenges that excite me. And I know it is going to be a challenge. Yeah. Stay tuned. Watch David's channel. It's going to be good. Right, now we're going to go and have a look at both of them in the posing room and in the same lighting that we were in earlier. And um, yeah, we're going to see what they look like with the pump. So in the last video you saw Jake, and Jake made me a very happy chappy. Today's video you've seen Charlie, Charlie's making me a very happy chappy. It's a big year. It is a big year. Got some food for thought, you know. Do we do an earlier show? Do we go up against some unnatty bastards? The nice thing is, like, we know there's still room to get better. Yeah. I know there's loads of work to do where the refining or the posing is concerned, because again, at the end of the day, you can be the biggest, the most conditioned, but if you present it badly on stage at pro level, you're going to get smoked. Yeah. So, I know that's where a lot of my work is to do in the next six, seven, eight, all the way through to like yeah. 10, 12 weeks. Yeah. So loads of room to improve, but nice to know we're in a good spot. Yeah. When, whenever, like, whether you're coached by me or not, you've got to look at where you're at and then what tools you've still got to your, you know, disposal. With Charlie, we've got so many tools to, to tap into. For instance, your food's still quite high in my eyes. Your cardio's still pretty non-existent, and steps are slightly above baseline. There's so many tools that we can play with there over the next two, two months, in it? Three? Two, October. Three the world, yeah, fucking hell. Yeah, so we're in a really, really, really good spot. Really, really good spot. Um, goes without saying, but I'm gonna be documenting Charlie's journey as good as I possibly can on YouTube, so you've got that to look forward to. Uh, David's not come over, and I don't know why. Doesn't want the smoke. David, you come in. No? All right, mate. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Charlie's min. I know, I know. These boys are really showing their age now. They're talking about shows in 2014. What were I doing in 2014? 10 years ago. Passed my driving test. Well. David is leaving, so farewell, David. 
got, got a busy day ahead. It's been a good session. Thanks for having me on again. Yeah. It's been eventful, and it's always good to see you, Josh. So. Yeah, see you soon, mate. Right, Next time we see David, he's going to take his clothes off. I'm certain of it. All right then, boys and girls, we are wrapping the video up here. It's been a pretty damn good video. Um, it's been a really good session for me, obviously, to see Charlie in the flesh. Uh, spend a bit of time with David. Um, Charlie, tell the people where they can find you. So, best spot at the minute, probably Instagram, just Charlie Brisbane. There's not many of us out there, so you should find me smooth enough. That's probably the best one, I would say, at the minute. Yeah. Um, Charlie is Charlie's a dad. He works with a lot of like dads in getting in shape. So if you are, you know, of that demographic and you need a man that's got a lot of knowledge, a lot of experience, and is a pretty damn good chap anyway, uh, Charlie's your guy. So I'm going to link all the Charlie stuff in the bio. Make sure you hit him and give him some love. Uh, but yeah, in the near future, there's no doubt that Charlie will be on the Board Shorts and Banter podcast. So stay tuned for that. And yes, we will see you in the next video where we will be doing something fun. I don't know what, we'll make it up then. See ya.